This morning we had heavy rainfall and when I came into the farm, I noticed all the beds were like this. All of them were just chilling at the edge of the pudding. Some which clustered around the wheat sauce and our taco pot. And very few of them at the center. Now with the heavy rain we had yesterday night, I mean the temperature of the room is is quite low, it's not that high. That's why you find them in around the edges of the brooder. As you can see, they all settled around the brooder. And this condition is really not good for them because one of the things you observe in a condition like this, they won't drink much water. Yes, they won't have much water intake. Hi guys, welcome to our sixth day in our farm, taking care of our 600 beds. Today is actually a nice day, but we have very heavy rainfall, which I feel my birds will really be very uncomfortable. So I'm here now to check on them. Okay, if you're new here, we've been talking about how you can take care of your birds, things to do, things to avoid, how to handle various problems you face in the farm and all that. So if you know you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a like. Okay guys, without wasting much of your time, I'm gonna be checking on my birds, which um, as I earlier said, we had a very heavy rainfall, which I know very well the birds will be very uncomfortable. So gently, I'm gonna open the brooder. The reason I'm gonna do it gently is because um, I really want them to be exactly the way they are so that you can understand what I am talking about. The moment I open it fast, they will all get scattered and um, you might not understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to do it gently. Okay guys, like I rightly said, if you look around, you find out that these guys are really feeling cold. If you check at the ages, like what I showed you at the beginning of this video, you find out they're all clustered at all the ages of the house. You find out they're all there. You see them stay at the age. They really stay around the ages. As you can see now, they're really at the ages. They're really at the ages. Now, one of the reasons these guys are like this is because they are feeling cold. The room temperature of this room is extremely not up to standard, okay? It's not up to standard, they're feeling cold. And probably maybe the heat source is finished. The charcoal we have in our charcoal pot is finished. That's why you find them clustered this way, okay? And um, you look at the middle like I showed you before. It is scanty. Few of them are eating, and most of them you find them at the age. Okay, guys. Even when I'm inside the farm, you find that they are not lively. They are so dull and sluggish. Even when I'm walking, you see that they are not really happy the way they usually be. I mean, they usually are, simply because the condition of the weather is cool, it's cool. Okay, you see now, they're all surrounded there. They're all at the edges. Another thing you notice about them is when you have heavy rainfall, you realize that um, they wouldn't be that smart. You find this dull behavior, you understand, they wouldn't be that smart. It's just like human, when you have rainfall, you look for a place that is warm to cuddle yourself and all that. You just need something, a place that is quiet and as the same as birds. So they won't be that smart. I'm not sorry, they won't be that smart. So now, one issue you observe about cool condition is um, they find it difficult to drink much water. Yes, they find it very difficult to drink much water. Your water intake is really going to reduce. That is to say, if they always drink like 25 liters of water, they might end up drinking almost 18 to 20 liters 
or maybe even 15 liters of water if you have extreme cool weather like you will see here we still have water left like yesterday when i came into the farm we didn't have much water in the farm when i came into the farm they finished drinking most of the water i had in their water are, they finished drinking it like you will see this one we still have water here we still have water we still have water there and we still have water in most of their cans so extreme cool weather could also hinder them from drinking much water because the water itself too could be cool okay and then if you look at um, our heat source here you find out that we had a problem yesterday night meaning another thing that could cause their behavior could be that they didn't have much heat if you look at my pot it's still filled up with charcoal that is to say when putting up the light i didn't confirm to see if the light was okay before i left so if you look at it i see how almost full of this that means throughout the night they were in here without much heat that could also cause what you're really seeing here so one thing i've learned and one thing you should also learn is before you leave your brooder especially at night you must make sure that your heat source is functioning well yes like this one we don't have any i don't have any lights here and um, that's why they're craving for for heat they really need heat so what i would do is i'll get this out burn it up again then bring it back so they will have the necessary heat looking at their growth rates i think this guy is growing taller you remember when they came they were very small and um, when you see this guy this guy is um, this guy is really improving wow it's really improving easy 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 started developing feathers you see now like now their color is um somehow yellow or will i say milky but over time you find out that this color is going to change and um they will start having white to turn to white like this so for their growth rates i think they are growing well the water intake they have not gotten much water one it could be because of the rainfall we had this morning or yesterday night two it could be because my heat source was not working properly so they have little or no much water intake and um, for their food i think um their food intake too has um, really dropped so i've made my mistake and today i'm gonna work on it poultry business really need precision and accuracy no complacency whatever thing you put in is what you take out so like what i did the mistake i did now what i got out of it is they haven't taken the right water they should take for that day so they've not gotten much water because there was not much heat so and even i gave them enough heat are we together i didn't mean i gave them enough heat I think before coming this morning, all the water drinkers should be empty. Since they didn't have much heat, that's the result I got. So, poultry business is garbage in, garbage out. What you put in is what you take out. So, you must be prepared when venturing into business like this. Yeah, but it's fun. If you follow the laws, you follow the principle, you will have the accurate results you deserve. So guys, being the sixth day of them being in the Buddha, I think um, tomorrow I'll be giving them vaccine. And um, one of the things I'll be doing is I won't apply any medication to their water. There'll be no medication for them today. The only thing I'm going to give to them is just ordinary water. When I mean ordinary water, water without drugs, ordinary water. That is what I'll be administering to them. So guys, my work task for today is I'm going to get the drinkers out, fill it with ordinary water introduce a heat source then give them food and also share them up remember once you get into the farm the first thing to do is to move around to see if you have any casualty or mortality hmm? so that i didn't do so i'm gonna do it right now so i'm gonna move around share them up and make them you know yes i'm around okay you guys should move around move around move around I'm gonna move around to see if uh, there's any mortality or casualty. I'm gonna move around to see if there's any mortality. Move in the time. Move around to see if there's any mortality. Okay. 
direction. Come on guys, you're not smart today. What's going on? You guys are not smart. Okay guys, I've moved on, I've confirmed. I think I have one mortality. You see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. One has to be extremely careful. So, we've lost five. Oh, damn. This time I lose a bird, I feel so bad because I really do not want to lose birds in my farm. No matter how much they are, even if I'm putting up to 2,000 birds, I don't want to lose any bird. So, I feel so sad I've lost this one. Sorry. Now, I'm going to go around, check on the eats, check the botox, check around to see the cause of his deaths. I'm going to check around to see if I can detect anything. But you realize he was right in here when I picked it up. It was inside the air. The reason for it, the reason for his death is what I don't know. Maybe it could be cool. I don't know. Maybe it could be cold, I don't know, or maybe it could be compressed here and he couldn't leave this um, cone. I can't really tell, but um, the point there is we've lost one. Now, once you watch the birds, another thing, the other things I've noticed on, on them now, I've noticed other things. You see now their skin has started shedding. Like this very bird. I'm going to show you guys. Come here, young man. So if you see this guy right here, you'll find that it, start, it has started shedding. I'm, I'm, I've started seeing the skin. They started shading. In my case, when I find out that they're shading like this, I'm always impressed because I prefer them shading. Reason for this, I can't really tell you now, but um, while you keep watching my video, maybe in our second week or, yes, probably our second week or third week, you will understand what I'm talking about. I'll talk about it, but for now, I'll leave it there. So guys, you find out this guy has started shading and it's really increasing in height. Started increasing in height and um, Oh, young man. <laughs> so, that is it. I'll get the drinkers out, give them their food, and then bring in a heat source that is functioning. Voila. Done for the day. Till evening. Okay. So, I'm going to start doing my work for the day. So, guys, here is my heat source. Remember, yesterday I made a mistake. Now, here is it. You see that the one for today, I've made sure that the fire is properly in place. So I'm going to place it there. Then I cover it with my aluminum sheet. So guys, yesterday I, I made a big blunder by not confirming if my charcoal pot was still burning. That was a blunder I made. That was a foolish mistake I made. So one of the things I want you guys to learn is don't be too overconfident when you're doing something. Even when you're sure of that thing, try as much as possible to confirm to see if that thing is properly in place. Don't just feel, okay, I've, I'm used to it. This is what I do every time. I can always get it done and all that. No, no matter how good you are in a particular thing, make sure you affirm, you confirm to see if that thing is done properly don't just feel you can always get it right at all time no there's always room for mistakes so please this was a mistake i made yesterday and i don't want you to make the same mistake so i'm gonna bring in the water then voila so guys what i'm giving them right now is ordinary water remember i told you guys Remember, I told you guys that I'll be giving them vaccine tomorrow. So I'm going to give them ordinary water this morning and in the evening so that tomorrow morning I get them vaccinated. Though these guys are very dull, but now that I have my heat sauce ready and put in place, in no time you'll find out that they're going to be sharp and um, agile. Since I'm done with every tax, I'll just get the water. <sighs> okay, guys, here am I. Yeah, I am. I'm done. So, guys, I think I'm done. 
remember the experience i've shared with you today when you know you have a heavy rainfall make sure you check on your bed to find out if your heat source is in place and um, make sure your brooder is completely sealed up or properly enclosed without too much um, ventilation and um, also try as much as possible to observe them to know their behavior because when you're in a poultry you don't know what can happen anything can happen at any time they could develop one or two behavior or sickness or diseases that you might not even expect at any time so you must be vigilant pay attention to them give them the right medication give them food in time and then um, voila you're done so guys that is it for today if you love what i'm doing please do want to hit that subscribe button because it's not easy to share good knowledge and tutorials like this that will help you become good and better in your poultry farming business so help you that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and most of all don't forget to share this video for someone out there to benefit thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one this is sam's view so guys after hours of bringing in the heat sauce when i noticed they were so dull and not sharp they all revived and you can see how bright they are they are no more moody they don't feel cool as such though you see half people around there but um, they are sharp and more comfortable than what we saw early this morning